So something was brought to my attention and I kind of want to check it out. Oh, it's a Grums post. Dungeons and Dragons falls off the woke cliff. Uh oh, what is it this time? What is it this time? Dude, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, I like Grums posts, but sometimes they're they're a little a little crazy. Dungeons and Dragons falls off the woke cliff in the brand new DM Dungeon Master's Guide. So this is like for the for the DM. There's an entire section where DMs are encouraged to have players fill out sensitivity forms about what might trigger them and an emergency X gesture where a player can stop the game if they feel uncomfortable in a fictional fantasy setting, though. Funnier still, Wizards of the Coast are being accused of stealing these ideas from other games without credit. Let's take a look here. The new DM guide features two core tools for player safety which are nothing more than safety blankets for coddling the uh, man dude groms come on man okay listen this might not be the take that you're expecting guys when you're playing a game like DD, the immersion level is significantly higher than in the video game so if you're coming from this from the angle of video games it's 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 really really quite different and even more so if you're playing in a uh not everybody plays with a dedicated friend group you know we, those of us that are lucky that we have a group of friends that we can play with all the time i can add whatever the hell i want because i know my friends and i know they're not gonna freaking trip out on me right but some people play through meetups or public groups or sometimes even at a game store where there'll be like a game store of like oh we have a game uh we're gonna have a D, &D night and like you know there's a couple tables set up and whoever wants to dm and then you join like a public game so it says it's, it's nothing more than uh safety blankets for coddling perpetually offended and afraid and everyone at the table has to agree to this pandering where one player can di um dictate what you can and can't have what you can or can't have in your campaign the first tool is game expectations form where the players can for uh list their hard and soft limits i mean game expectations is very important that's what i ask my players what do you expect from the game what do you want what kind of gameplay do you want I always ask this of the players, so this is not a woke thing at all, really. A hard limit in your campaign you can never have. Yeah, I mean, if you have a character, you're like, listen, I don't want to get fucking mind controlled by people. Fine. I mean, what's wrong with that? You're role playing as a character and you're like, I don't want somebody to role play that I'm getting mind controlled and forcing me to have sex with them, which as I've talked about before is a real possibility in D and D. So yeah, obviously you would want to have like a hard limit of like, listen, like I don't want my character to ever be, you know, I don't ever want to be mind controlled and forced to have sex with another player. The hard limit is that your campaign can never have. Uh, and the soft limit is that you may lightly touch on. Sure. Like maybe like, uh, you know, I don't really want to have like relationships, but like maybe a little bit fine tabletop gaming is a is a form of gaming where everybody has to be in mutual agreement and if you don't understand what everybody wants from the session or what they don't want from the session then how can you actually do it, 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 it this is going to cause problems later on so this is perfectly reasonable there's nothing wrong with this at all really and what are some of these limits here are some uh, examples used in, uh, in the past romance mind control cultural uh, uh sure Harm to animals, natural disasters, process, there's claustrophobia. Yeah, say say you do have a player. You do have a player who's like, man, like, listen, I'm like really, I'm I'm really claustrophobic. Um, I I really don't want like like I just don't want that. Like, can you like just not have that in there? Like, it's fine. Obviously, like obviously, right? So like, I don't really think this is this is a problem, really. I mean, this is just to get to know your players better. And yeah, some people might be a little sensitive to spiders. Like, you're really fucking scared of spiders. Like, you don't want to fight a spider at all. Fine. That's not to say like 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 you couldn't like you couldn't like negotiate or be like, hey man, like I know like you don't like spiders, but like you know, don't you think this is a good opportunity for you to get over your fear? Fine. But if they're like absolutely like, listen, I just really don't want like I just want to play D and D for fun. I don't want to deal with any spiders. Then fine. And then if you don't like it, you say, well, sorry, my game has spiders. Get the fuck out of here. Right? I mean, that's the whole point of it. It's like, do you really want to have a situation later? Like later, like down the line, like 10 months later, uh, 10 months later, when like your, your party is deep in the, in the campaign, you're about to fight the final boss. And then the final boss summons a spider. And one of your players is like, oh, I can't play this. I, I, I gotta go. Oh, guys, I gotta go. I can't. I, I, I can't, I can't deal with this, right? And it's like, oh, well, now you just fucked up the whole game. Entirely preventable, exactly. And so uh, this is, this is, there's no problem with this, uh, I think. Himmel the hero would have gotten over his arachnophobia if he had it. That's amazing. Himmel the hero would slay all the spiders to help you with your arachnophobia. I mean, sure, yeah, that could, that, I mean, that, that, that would be another way that you could solve it, right? 
but i mean like you can like maybe fast forward like say that the campaign absolutely does have to have spiders you can have the spiders show up and then have like a person like instantly kill them it's like they don't have to actually deal with it right so this kind of just sets up like the expectations of the game board and i think this is 100 percent fine i don't think this is woke at all or like yeah this is this is this is a bad take that th this is bad i don't think this is a bad thing all right the second tool is the emergency snowflake break okay <laughs> i'm pretty sure they don't call it that but let's see here where players can stop the entire game if they feel the slightest bit uncomfortable. To do this, the DM guide says you must make it that simple with your arms. Okay, this is a little cringe. This is a little cringe because if you need to take a break, you just say that you need to take a break. Like you don't need to, you don't need to fucking say you're not having sex, you know? This being added is woke. 100%. This is something you talk about and I have a weird shit about. Well, again, uh, th this is what I said, Circle. This is what I talked about earlier is um, this could be very useful for certain types of games, like public games. Of course, if you're playing like with your own personal friend group, you would just tell them you wouldn't need to do this shit. But if if if, if you're like you're playing, for instance, a public game at a convention, at a uh, at a convention, at a game shop, a lot of people do meet their D&D groups through those or like through some kind of like meetup or something like that, uh, which in which case this 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 paper would be very useful because you can immediately tell you don't have to fucking explain it to a person over and over and over again so i uh, again this does this really is not a problem this like this one specifically it spe specifically is not a problem about those woke people am i right yeah uh, dude i like to think i actually have a balanced perspective I, like i don't like the woke stuff obviously but I, i'm gonna call it out when people are saying it's woke and it's not you know what i mean like I, i'm not i'm not psycho enough that like i think everything is woke emergency snowflake break they don't call it that but sure where players can stop the entire game they feel a little bit uncomfortable make an x symbol with your arms once the woke bat god the woke bat signal holy fuck grums dude calm down the entire game must stop and immediately address the concerns of this one player by skipping or altering the campaign on the fly um well again the funny thing is is this would be prevented by this this would be prevented by this correct so like if you were playing a public game you would know this already otherwise you would kind of know your friends and if you have a problem like this i mean it's something that you bring up later or you just say, I need to take a break right now. And then you go take a break. Everyone, can, can we take a quick break? Not like, hold on, guys, stop. Hold, pull, pull the brakes. You know what I mean? No, dude, just, you don't have to be dramatic about it. Just be like, hey, can we take a break real quick? Like, I'm a little thirsty or something. And you go, you go get some drinks or whatever. Everybody calms down. You're like, hey, can I talk to you for a second to the DM? And then you, you're just like a normal person. Wizards of the, wait, what? Hold on. You should think the Wokies would be happy, but they're angry. Wizard of the Coast is accused of stealing these ideas from tabletop creators. I see. I see. So this isn't, this isn't, uh, this isn't, uh, Grums. This is the, the, the mob being upset about it. You see, these tools have been around since the late nineties and come from the world of BDSM sex. I'm not kidding. Look up hard limits and see. In fact, Wizard of the Coast is being accused of stealing the content from sex and so dude, what? <laughs> Can we take a break? Is how a normal, normal person behavior? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is kind of dumb because it's just it's just a game. I mean, like you know, games take games take inspiration from other games all the time. Uh, the time the the cross my my arms timeout button. I mean, come on, man. Like let's let's be fucking real. This is this is the same shit people are bitching about when it comes to Pokemon. So what is it, guys? Are you mad at you? Are you mad at Pokemon for for suing Pal World over over the the really fucking stupid patent, or are you for it? Which is it? This is dumb. Monte Cook Games uh, famously published the following consent form. Is having having a consent form that's now uh, patented? You can list your enthusiastic consent for explicit sex of what? Interesting. <sighs> Tabletop has long been infested by players who are oversensitive and who prefer weaving stories while avoiding combat. Dude, Grums, dude, what is, what is this? What is this take? What is this? If people, if people don't, if people want to like, like, like finesse wordsmith out of situation dude you don't have to be a murder hobo grums what is this what are you talking about tabletop has been in festival picture over weaving stories and avoiding combat yeah you can avoid combat if you want that's what that's the whole point of dnd is it, that's the whole point of tabletop is you can do whatever you want if you want to play a party that's like pacifist and you want to like try to talk yourself out of every situation before the combat happens and then you only use your sword as a last resort then then what's wrong with that jesus man Holy fuck. Filled with baristas and baking bread has nothing to do with slaying dragons. You don't... <sighs> Tabletop RPG is not only about slaying dragons. What is this argument? I've played Tabletop for five digits amounts of hours. 
And I have literally never fought a dragon. Never. Not even one time. I've literally never fought... Wait, have I? No, I've never fought a dragon. Not even one time. This is freaking ridiculous. Longtime RPG fans have fled the scene. They no longer play or have moved on to other games. Uh, okay, maybe he's talking about Dungeons & Dragons specifically. He's just using it as an example. Yeah, but you don't have to fight stuff in D&D. &D. That's not how it works. That's not like the only thing in the game. You can do it. But avoiding combat is also a part of the game because if you're if you're well, it's a part of like a game if you're a certain kind of party, right? Like you don't all have to be, you know, not every campaign is like fucking go on a dungeon crawl and just fucking kill everything in the dungeon. You Imagine playing Dungeons and Dragons half half wrong all these years. 50% score, only dungeons, no dragons, <laughs> SMH. Uh, they no longer play or have moved on to other games. They leave behind an audience that loved popularity of TTRPG, made famous by uh, TV shows like Stranger Things and the rise of coolness of the Greek uh, geek cred. It's not wrong. That part's not wrong. In fact, most people following D&D &D by watching shows like Critical Role don't actually play and outnumber the actual players. Just like the amount of Overwatch fans that are fans of the characters and don't actually play themselves. I actually don't know th that much about this. Um, so maybe he's right about that. I don't know. They invaded our hobbies, took them over, and now this is the end result. d and has fallen. Play Angel Sword. <laughs> play Angel Sword RPG. RPG.angelsword.com didn't they mostly uh, fell because the current uh, company sucks? Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, a lot of this is kind of crazy, I think. Well, like, like, uh, like this is a little cringe, but, like, I, I don't... I, I, this, there's nothing wrong with this, and there's nothing wrong with not playing a murder hobo campaign. Um, there are a lot of players, like myself included, and, like, a lot of the players I, I know. Uh, there's a mix of players. Some players really love combat. Definitely. I have players like that at my table. I love combat myself as well. But there are also players that do enjoy, like, the what you do on the side. Like, uh, you know, like, for instance, like, a couple of campaigns ago, we had an entire, an entire um, episode of just, like, hanging out at the restaurant and, like, talking to NPCs and, like, eating good food. And that was, like, the entire thing. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be about, like, okay, like, we beat the dungeon, gear up, let's go, guys, go next. It's not like that, you know? Political intrigue, role for deception, et cetera, type stuff. The problem is uh, is D&D &D itself from the art stuff too is really focusing on mundane stuff, not the big adventure stuff. Oh, it's a little bit of both. I mean, I, I, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, Circle. I, I don't know that much about um, the new D&D. &D. Uh, I don't know. What, what is it even called? I don't even know what the new D&D &D is called. Is it like D&D &D, like five something next? I don't, I don't know. I literally don't know anything about it. D&D &D 2024. 2024. I don't actually know that much about it, so I don't know like how wokeified it's gotten. But you have to be a little bit more specific here because because the way he has this written, like he he looks like a crazy person. Like this is th like this makes you seem kind of psycho. Like you don't actually play D and D yourself, you know? Didn't the current company go after the original creator and move from mechanics? I don't know. I don't know much about that. You call it five point five? Yeah. Like I don't really have a problem with this like player safety guide or whatever for being included for people that work at like uh that want to play at like a game store or something like that there's really no problem with that i think this is pretty cringe yeah this is this is like i mean there's people that like that kind of campaign that they just like story campaigns with no combat like i've played non-combat characters before in fact like one of my favorite characters uh i i was basically a maid my entire thing was my character was a maid and even in combat like i didn't do anything like there would be like there would be like a fight and my character would just hide uh but this uh, uh tweet out of content is bizarre take yeah it's 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 bizarre yeah i'm not really for it circle said he's wording it like a freak but like a consent form if, if it's needed at all should be printed up by the groups running it themselves yeah but okay so what's wrong with them making an official one there's nothing wrong with it because i mean like wouldn't you want that if you were a if you were a place that was running public DD campaigns um, wouldn't you want to have like them providing you an official sheet so it's like easy and it's a sheet that everyone recognizes there's nothing wrong with that at all they're encouraging players to have a weaker constitutions now and they can point at the rule book and say it's official uh what <laughs> i don't see how this is encouraging anything besides hey if you want to sign up for a game like this is important obviously the thing here's one problem this is one problem i have with uh, with a lot of the times when people play tabletop games um especially D D. D D is like really huge for this you do not have to follow literally everything and this is like a very common dm issue is that they will follow the book exactly how it says so you have a module and they'll be like 
Sorry, the module says that, so that's how it is. And they don't cater anything towards the group. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did say this was weird. This is weird, Ira. I, 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 100%. This is awkward. Uh, this is awkward and unnecessary. It's giving an official piece of paper for something the Dungeon Master's Guide has been instructing DMs to do forever. Yeah, but you don't have to follow it. So, like, this, like, sheet is not, like, 100% necessary, right? If you're a DM and you see this sheet, the game is not literally telling you, oh, you and your friend group that you've been playing for years, you better do this. If you don't do this, then you're playing wrong. That's not what they're saying. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. You don't have to use mechanics if you don't want them. That's the whole point of tabletop. That's that's the whole point of any of this is that it's not controlled by a system. It's controlled by the human imagination. So you can do whatever you want. In public spaces such as Adventurers uh, League, consent forms are a step in the right direction. Yeah, I, I don't think this is bad for that at all. But obviously, like, would I use it? Obviously not. I wouldn't use this because I know the people I play with. And if someone bitches to me about it later, I'm gonna tell them to fucking get the hell out then. That's just, that's just me. But that doesn't mean that that's how it is for everybody in public. I understand that I'm not everybody and that my friends are not everybody. All this cringe D&D stuff is less than, uh, less than important uh, to me now because I, I, can, um, I can run the game how I want. And if I play D&D, it's gonna be 3.5 anyway. Yeah, exactly. Ragnar. You just play it however, you run it however you want. That's the whole point. Why would you need consent forms? It's for information. It's for information system. So for instance, like my games have like, my games are kind of brutal. Like I, I have like freaking people getting their, their neck sliced, neck sliced open. I have, uh, I have like stuff where in, in my games where like, you know, people are, there, there's slavery in my games that like players have to deal with people getting eaten alive. There's like, like little kids being, being executed. Like there's all, there's shit like that in my games so it's like i know my players but i can't i can't run that shit in like a public setting unless they all know right like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna subject like a random person who's like hey like i really want to play dnd it's my first time yeah you hold it you hold up the child and their fucking head explodes you know what i mean like what the f 